it is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below hi aquarius welcome to another love reading of yours this is going to be for aquarius sun moon rising and venus please keep in mind time is fluid we could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the future this is for Aquarius in love. I'm going to read out the energies of the cards here, guys. So feel free to switch the energies. This could be your energy, the person you're dealing with, or a mix of both, all right? So you assign the roles accordingly. I'm going to read this out as Aquarius. This is for Aquarius in love. Spirit guides in the universe. What are the messages for my Aquarius in love? Wow. All right, Aquarius. So the overall energy we have is the Queen of Pentacles. This is a lot of stability, security, commitment. Either you're wanting a commitment from someone or this is your current energy, okay? You're very, very focused on family, your home. You're trying to build a stable home family, a stable environment. But this is also someone who's taking care of every aspect of her life, okay? Do not get stuck with the gender. This is just an energy. It doesn't matter if it's male or female, but someone's very focused on their own growth, okay? This is a mother, someone very, very nurturing, okay? But at the same time, this is someone very, very practical okay someone's just leaving their emotions out of a situation and thinking for themselves and if it gives them the stability and security and growth then they're okay with it all right okay in the past with the lovers in reverse yes there was a split in a soulmate connection there was once a connection that was very very strong but now there's been a fallout a breakup could be an end of a soulmate contract doesn't have to be there could be someone who had to make a difficult choice between two people uh, and they've probably made the wrong choice, or this is just someone who has a fear of commitment, okay? Current situation, we have the nine of wands. This is someone extremely guarded. They have their walls high up, and they have huge trust issues, okay? Why? Because you could have had a lot of in and out, in and out um, relationship with this person, a very on and off. And now this person's walls are high up because they don't trust you, okay? They don't trust you. They don't trust the situation. And this is all happening because they're, they've they had very, very nasty experiences in the past, okay? So they're like very guarded. At the same time, this is someone very, very persevering also. So they don't mind giving it one last shot. But this is someone who is very tired, wounded, battered. This is the wounded soldier, right? This is someone fed up, almost, almost ready to give up. But they, it's like, I have that one last faith left, okay? What's crossing this is the seven of swords in reverse. So there could be someone who could have ghosted you, who was trying to ignore and avoid the entire situation. And there's someone who's feeling guilty, okay? And they want to come in. Or this is just someone uh, from the past who could have tried to avoid the entire situation and now they're coming back. Okay. They want to come in and turn a new leaf. Could also be that you're feeling very, very guarded because you're guilty about something or uh, it could just be that you're dealing with someone who operates like that. The seven of swords in reverse is a repetitive energy. Okay. So they'll, they'll ignore, then they'll feel guilty. Then they'll come back. They'll, they'll, uh, it's like you know constantly deceptive energy it's a very sneaky deceptive energy but then it's like every single time you know they're like no 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 no. maybe i did the wrong thing you know? and then they want to come back so it's a repetitive action okay probably this is what the person has kept doing for a very long time and that's why your gods are up okay your walls are really high up on your mind with the judgment in reverse no second chances you don't want to repeat the past okay you don't want to repeat the past mistakes again or this is just you being very very indecisive i'm feeling you don't want to give this past a second chance okay because you're like done you're fed up with this person the reason for the reading is the nine of cups in reverse okay all right i'll tell you why this is happening aquarius you are very, very dependent on this person for your happiness, okay? The Nine of Cups in Reverse is a very emotionally dependent energy. 
Yes, it is a wish that didn't come true, emotional unfulfillment. But why is it an emotional unfulfillment? Why do we call it as a wish come true? Okay. So it's more like you're putting out to the universe that I can't do without this person. I need this person. I need this person to approve my feelings. I need this person to be around to make me happy, to make me feel emotionally content. Okay. You're basically trying to give out the vibes. I am not enough. Okay. I cannot make myself happy. That's what you're giving out. Okay. So the more you're depending on this person. So every single time this person would, would have ghosted you, every single time this person probably sneaked away or they had their deceptive behaviors. It would have made you feel so bad. It would have just completely caused like a literal turmoil into your life. And that's why now you're very guarded. Okay. That's why now you're very guarded. Anyways, within the next few weeks, coming to the near future, I see the Ace of Swords. So I do see a breakthrough coming. I do see that there is going to be clarity. Someone's going to come in and clear the air. This could be victory. This could be a breakthrough or this could just be harsh communication. But communication is coming in and whatever communication is coming in, it's going to give you a lot of clarity. Okay. If you're confused about something, it's going to come in. The truth is coming in. What you're doing with the Six of Swords here, I feel that you want a peaceful resolution to this. Okay. I feel you're going through a transitioning mode. You're going through a lot of changes and uh, you want to get out of this inner turmoil. Okay. With the Six of Swords here, I feel you want to get in a calmer place. Okay. You want to move into calmer waters. What they're doing is with the Seven of Cups in reverse, I feel either it can be this person because we see sneaky behavior. This person could have had a lot of options in their life. But with the Seven of Cups in reverse here, I feel they're very, very sure about what they want. They want you. Um, they could have narrowed down their options or this is just someone, you know what? There is no visual thinking. Okay. There's no confusion anywhere around. This person could have had a lot on their plate, but seven of cups in reverse is getting a reality check. Okay. They're getting a reality check there. The confusion is gone. And, um, I feel like they know, um, what they want. That's what I'm getting. Okay. They're not confused anymore. In your emotions with the hermit in reverse, you could have ghosted this person. You could have blocked this person. You could have completely isolated, withdrawn your energy from this person. But with a hermit in reverse, I feel that you're ready to talk. You're ready to come out of isolation and talk to this person. Yeah. You're ready to talk to this person. Okay. You've, you've been enlightened to something. Okay. Probably you've been enlightened to, um, you know, I feel I'm, I'm reading for the cross watchers doesn't have to be for everyone, but I just feel I'm reading for the cross watches and not Aquarius. Anyways, take it how it resonates. With the Hermit in reverse, I feel that you're enlightened to something, okay? You've gone within, you've done your self-introspection, you've tried to find out where this is going, why is what happening, and you could have taken some time off on your own, but when it's in the reverse, I feel you're coming back into the real world, you're coming back out of isolation, and uh, you're ready to take action, okay? You've been enlightened to something, okay? And that's the Seven of Cups in reverse. No more wishful thinking, okay? No more confusion, no more feeling like, oh my God, every cup looks good to me, okay? No, no more. It's the miscellaneous cups that were either confusing them or it was probably keeping them trapped or with the seven of cups. Also, there could have been a, a, a hundred approaches that they could have thought seven, actually, technically with the seven of cups. But uh, there could have been a lot of ways that this person would have tried to approach you, but they just didn't know how to. Could be. OK, they've done a lot of thinking and the likely outcome with the five of pentacles in reverse. Someone's returning back. They're coming out of the cold. So, yeah, I feel you've cut someone off, okay, with the lovers in reverse in the past. You've cut someone off, okay. There was a breakup because you were fed up and uh, they're coming back. They're coming back, okay, after a period of isolation, after um, that uh, you giving them the cold shoulder. They want to come back because they're very sure about what they want, okay. Clever the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why the Queen of Pentacles? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here as the overall energy for Aquarius? Yeah, see, you're focusing on yourself because with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, there was no reciprocity, okay? There was no equal balance. You guys were not supporting and challenging each other together, okay? You guys were in your own corners or this was just one person who kept giving into the relationship and the other person was just feeling drained out, okay? Uh, sorry, I mean, and the other person was not doing anything and probably this person was used to it because you gave and gave and gave and they were very laid back. They didn't want to give in because um, 
the other way of looking at it is also that probably this is someone with the seven of swords in reverse here this is someone who could have tried to avoid a situation for a very long time okay i mean that's just how they are okay maybe they don't they're, they're not the commitment types they're not the ones who like stable relationships the six of pentacles in reverse also feels that after a point of time you know it could have been forcefully giving or it could be that this person was forcefully giving into another relationship okay i see it two ways either this is you who's now focusing on yourself because you realize your self worth your self esteem and you know your own uh, potential and with the six of pentacles in reverse this was a relationship where there was no equal give and take there was no balance or this was a relationship that you're you, you could be dealing with someone who's married and they're forcefully giving into another relationship okay i just got that why is the lovers in reverse why is the lovers in reverse Why is the lovers in reverse? Again, because you were too guarded, you were super guarded with the nine of wands. We have the nine of wands twice, so we have double the energy. You had severe trust issues with this person. Again, I'm getting that this person. You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing your soulmate may differ from the usual types. Yeah, that's that's the um, from. the oracle card the lovers oracle card the romance angels yeah i'm getting that i'm getting your soulmate may differ from the usual types and so probably you're not being able to accept this person the way they are okay and probably you have a lot of expectations from this person and this person wasn't really exactly played out the way that you thought they should be okay yeah and the separation also one of the reasons for the separation also could be because you were very guarded your walls were too high up again could be because of past issues or could be because this person hurt you regardless your walls are high up okay you're very very defensive <clears throat> you could feel probably that this person is out to hurt you or they're going to hurt you they're going to play you again or it's just going to happen like the last last relationship you had why is the 9 of wands here as the current situation yeah So I feel that with a five of swords in reverse here, I feel that someone wants a reconciliation. Okay, someone realized that it was an empty victory. Okay, this you could be dealing with someone who operates from their ego. Okay, very very egoistic person, someone who always wants to win under any cost. Okay, like this could be someone who usually wants to win an argument under any cost at the expense of others at the expense. at your expense but um this is someone who always had empty victory okay and you were fed up you were tired i think you were walking away and you walked away and they realized that they probably won the war they won the battle but they lost the war okay so it's like they had no emotional fulfillment in that victory in whatever they did to you but yeah they feel a loss and now they want to come back they want to drop their swords they don't want to fight anymore they want to stop the mind fuckery they want to stop the mind games that they were playing with you Five of the seven of swords in reverse. Yeah, see, this person was offering you scraps with the knight of cups in reverse. This is someone who was not being vulnerable to you. Okay, they were not expressing their emotions. This could be someone who was very in and out of your life. Okay, because in and out. Why? Because and could be someone who's very very jealous. You know why? Because with the queen of pentacles here as your overall energy, I think they see you in your power. I think they see you growing, doing well. and now the knight of cups in reverse is also someone who's very very jealous okay yes it could have been something or someone who brought a lot of disappointment and love to you but i'm feeling that this person whoever's returning back to you this was someone who's very very inexpressive okay very in and out of your life non expressive holding back their emotions uh jealous okay very very moody okay one second they love you the second moment they don't one second they want to express their feelings to you the second moment they don't want to I don't like that. Why is the judgment in reverse? Why is the judgment in reverse on Aquarius's mind? Let's see, you're trusting your intuition and you're not giving this a second chance. But the high priestess here, the high priestess is a secret keeper, right? But at the same time, she's the badass. She knows exactly what's going on, and she's got her intuition on point. Okay, on point. She's someone who knows more than she says. She'll keep things to herself. She's very secretive, and it's more like you know what? She's keeping very quiet about her moves. 
I think this is, so I'm getting the energy, you know what, no second chances till I don't see you improving or I don't see that you literally um, mean what you say, stuff like that till then you're going to get the silent treatment from me. I think that's what you're doing or that's what someone's doing to you. Clarify, you could be dealing with someone very, very psychic, okay? This is a psychic connection. You could be energetically um, talking to each other, communicating with, with each other. And they know, whoever's giving the silent treatment, they know that for right now, I'm not going to make a decision. Someone's not being indecisive. Someone's being indecisive right now because they, I feel like they're just downloading more information and they need more information be, be, before they start to talk. Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. Try for the Nine of Cups in reverse. See? With the Six of Cups in reverse. So I'm feeling that you're holding on and clinging on to bad memories. Okay? And that's what's emotionally draining you out. Six of Cups in reverse is holding a grudge. Nostalgia about bad memories. Thinking about the worst memories. Okay? Thinking about why and how everything fell apart or thinking about everything about how this person hurt you. It's just bad memories. Okay, guys, don't do that. Look, look how emotionally, how it's draining you out emotionally. Look how crazy, look how crazy it is. It's because you're putting too much focus on the memories and too much focus on them. Your focus is you make me happy. Come back. You make me happy. Approve my feelings. You make me happy. You're everything for me. My world revolves around you. You are not, your focus is entirely on them. You're not realizing your self-worth, okay? That's the reason why all this is happening. Clarify for the Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords? I want to see what is this Ace of Swords. I think you're going to get clarity. Maybe it's something that's going to make you happy. Clarify for the Ace of Swords. At least it's not clear the air. Life for the Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords? Why is the Ace of Swords here? You could have been waiting and waiting for this clarity to come in, but with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, I feel you're losing patience, Aquarius. It can go two ways. There's some truth coming in. Someone's going to clear the air. And by the time it comes in, by the time this person comes in with the truth, and by the time you get your breakthrough or your clear-cut communication, with the seven of pentacles in reverse, I feel you have no patience. You're not ready to wait for... You, you planted your seeds. And you could have waited for, uh, for it to grow and waited for it to come to fruition, okay? Which takes a lot of patience, a lot of patience, a lot of time. It's all about divine timing. But I think you waited enough. I feel you waited enough for this clarity to come in. And I think you're done. You're giving up. You're not waiting anymore. The two of swords fell out. There could be someone who was living too much in their head. Okay, Someone could have been very, very indecisive. They could have been refusing to make a decision. They were refusing to remove the blindfold and see reality. But I want one more card. Give me one more card for the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Give me one more card for the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It could also be that the truth comes in. And for you, it's going to be like, you know what? Uh, that was a big fat disappointment. That was just a waste of time. Try for the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Try for the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. So with the Three of Cups here, I feel that either there is a reconciliation that's coming in for you, okay, with that truth, with the Ace of Swords, but you are already giving up because you're, for you, it's like, you know what, I, it took forever for you to come back and reconcile with me, okay? So two things, either you're moving on, you're going to start dating casually and you're just going to chill, have fun, you're going to relax and you're just going to be like, you know what, nah, that was a waste of time, I don't got no time for this, or... There are chances that this person's coming in with the truth with for a reconciliation, but for you, that's how you view this person as some like something was a waste of time. Okay, like I just that was a long term investment that was just a big failure. Clap the six of swords. Clap the six of swords. What is this six of swords? What is this six of swords? Clap the six of swords. Clap for the six of swords. 
Yeah, the six of swords and eight of wands. I feel you're releasing this person. What did I say? I just said, right, that you're just going to like go your way. I don't feel a reconciliation. I feel you're going your way because you're like, you know what? I'm done. Someone just didn't open up for the longest time. And it took a lot for them to come back and put their swords down with the five of swords in reverse to get out of their ego, to stop trying to control the outcome. Someone could have been trying to out. Um, control the outcome for the longest okay they wanted things their way they wanted to know how it's going to play where how when what why everything and they tried to control it from the outside their thoughts were constantly like that it took a lot for them to let go of that thought pattern but i think with the six of swords and the eight of wands i feel that you want to move away from this person you're transitioning you're moving away into calmer waters and with the eight of wands it's more like go 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 you want to do now you're taking move you're taking action and you're releasing this person as fast as you can. Okay, you want to let go of this person as fast as you can. You're trying to manifest a new beginning. You're trying to manifest um, um, a more better relationship. Okay, you're just, I think more than a relationship, it's just you like, you know what, I just want to get out of this. Okay, it's too much for me. It's too much chaos in my head and I need to get into calmer waters. Clarify the Seven of Cups in reverse. Clarify the Seven of Cups in reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse in Aquarius' environment? Two cups. We have the Three of Swords and the Two of Wands in reverse. This person could have had a lot of clarity about the kind of confusion they had, etc. But with the Three of Swords here, there's a lot of pain. Okay, there's a lot of pain, stress, anxiety. This person could be going through a lot of emotional trauma. Okay, but they're just hurt. They're very, very hurt about this. And with the Two of Wands in reverse here, I feel they're making a decision. They're making a decision. They're very clear. They're very clear about what they want. But it's like you know what? What I'm feeling that this person had to go through this breakup. They had to go through this. Um, uh, emotional trauma, this uh, breakup, separation, whatever it is. They had to go through this pain in order for them to be decisive about what they want. Okay. Clap for the hermit in reverse. Clap for the hermit in reverse. What is this hermit in reverse? So this person's enlightened and they could have taken their own sweet time with a hangman here, okay? So in your emotions, this is the hermit in reverse and the hangman. So I feel you're not in any hurry to pursue this relationship or you're not in any hurry to get back to this person because with the hangman here, you're on hold, okay? You're on hold and you could have been, you're, you're enlightened to this uh, connection or you're enlightened to a lot of facts that you weren't seeing before, okay? With the hangman here, I feel you're taking a minute. This is a very meditative, very spiritual energy. Uh, but you're taking a minute. You're in no hurry and you want to give this a nice long thought before you jump into anything, okay? Because this person with the nine of wands here, you're very guarded from this person. You don't trust this person. There was an imbalance in a relationship, no equal give and take. And um, anyways, on your mind with the judgment in reverse, this could have been so nasty that you're like, you know what? I'm not repeating the past again. No second chances. So yeah, you're going to take your own sweet time. You're trying to wait and watch. This is a period of inaction. Clap for the five of pentacles in reverse as a likely outcome. Why is the five of pentacles in reverse as a likely outcome? Why is the five of pentacles in reverse as a likely outcome? Yep. Someone's coming back. But with the page of wands here, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Okay. Yes. They want a renewal in love. They want a new beginning in love. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. Yes. When this person comes in, right? When they're coming back out of the cold with a page of wands here. Yes, this person has want, is wanting to ignite the passion. They want that spark. They want to get that spark back into the relationship. But again, page of wands is again someone with a lot of passion. And this is someone who's at, again, at a very nascent stage, okay? We're looking at a king, okay? If you're, if you are the queen, we're looking at a king. But we have the queen of pentacles here and the page of wands here. That's what my problem is. They're coming in with everything's fun and games. I'm sorry. Let's chill. I'm sorry. You know, like, let's have fun, etc. 
three of cups reconciliation right yes it could be but three of cups is also like an offer like you know what let's hang out let's have coffee let's let's go catch a movie it's a, I, I know the environment sucks right we cannot get out but i'm just saying it's going to be very casual when this person comes again okay? they're not coming with their king of pentacles or they're not coming in with like an ace of pentacles okay they're not coming with any tangible is what i'm saying yes there is emotions but the emotions is very light-hearted Okay, and with the page of wands here, they're coming out of the cold and they want to communicate. But the, uh, the communication is going to be very exciting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be cool. It's going to be like, um, yeah, they're going to try and be naughty and flirty. But that's what I have for you. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. So I hope you enjoyed this reading and let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. If you need a personal reading, my information is going to be down below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.